Arts and uh, come and be part of it and celebrate with us. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, Mayor Brown, for your support on this celebration and this impact on our city. Next, I would like to welcome our council president, Betsy Wilkerson. The council has been a huge support for us during this effort, and we're in constant communication of the impact <laughs> that this is going to make, and they were able to approve $250,000 from ARPA funding to make this happen, to take away some of those barriers so everyone has a chance to celebrate with us here in this next month. So thank you, Betsy. Thank you, Jared. And I don't have to lower the mic. Thank you, Mayor. <laughs> Council has been extremely supportive of funding Expo 50, helping to provide an opportunity to celebrate 50 years of Spokane's most transformative event, which has been exciting. Personally, I was here. I was a graduate. I was a graduate. I was a high school senior at Lewis and Clark. It was my first job. The experience was amazing. I would like that experience for a lot of our young people and for the rest of the community who's never even experienced anything like Expo 50. I look for the excitement and the fun and the culture and just think of all our young kids and the jobs that this will provide for them as they go through the summer. Now, as part of the City Council, we are helping to invest in Spokane's future by celebrating the past as the theme of Expo 74 was man and his environment. I would like to say every person in their environment. Senator George Fleming, a black senator back in the day, had words about the Pan-African mission to enhance black awareness and foster better race relations to resonate with our city today. We strive to improve communications between all races, creating a city where everybody belongs. And this celebration of Expo 50 really is foundational for once again for Spokane to show that everybody belongs in Spokane. This is a key component of Expo 50. We're excited to be part of it. Council was excited to step up and fund this opportunity. It was transformative in 1974. It'll be transformative this year. I'm like the mayor, invite your friends, family, and even your enemies, if you got any, tell them to come on down to the expo, enjoy it with us, and we will have a great time. It will be another one for the history books in the city of Spokane. Thank you all. Thank you, Betsy, and those impactful words. Next. Early on, we decided, you know, this is not just a City of Spokane event. We wanted this to be a regional community event, and this just shows true today with all these partners that we have in front of us. And next, I'd like to welcome our County Commissioner, Josh Kearns, on behalf of Spokane County, who also allocated 450000 of ARPA funding to be dedicated for the marketing efforts around this celebration for Expo Plus 50. So, Commissioner. Hello, thank you. I'm your County Commissioner Josh Kearns. Um, you know, it's an honor to be here today. Um, Spokane, I'm also a board member of Visit Spokane. Um, Spokane County is, we, we're honored to be able to take part in the 50th celebration uh, festivities. Um, Expo is a huge part of our region's history. Um, many of the residents the, who, who live throughout Spokane County can remember Expo 74 like it was yesterday. I've, I've spoken with ma many folks that, that work at the county that have told me memories of when they were children coming here and visiting, taking a part, seeing celebrities, watching the, the entertainment, just par participating in, in, uh, in, in everything that was Expo 74. Uh, vi Visit Spokane had applied for ARP dollars, and it, as stated by but by Garrett, um, they were awarded four hundred fifty thousand dollars. Those will go from uh, a, a very short list. Everything. Or this is just a very short list of what those will go to. Everything from the website to the branding, social media, um, everything from the banners, the billboards, the uh, the. Uh, um, the, the signage and other printed materials, those will all be paid for by those ARP dollars. Um, Expo is part of our community's history, it's a part of our story. When, um, you know, it, it's another thing that makes Spokane County one of the best places to live, work, and raise a family. Um, I do want to, I, I just want to make, 
just make sure everybody realizes what a huge accomplishment this is. There will be hundreds of thousands of people that will embark on this beautiful backdrop here of, of, of Riverfront Park. They'll be here remembering the what what was Expo 74, sharing those memories. They'll be creating new memories, and they'll be here participating in all the events that, that, that are going to make this uh, an amazing event that, to, that we will be proud of. Um, I will do want to also just point out, um, you know, that the, one of the, the other amazing things and the, about Expo was in 1971, it was a county commissioner that was hired to be the public relations director from Expo, and that's the, the, the late Jack Garrity. And so uh, Spokane County certainly has a, a connection to Expo. We're, gra we're just thrilled to be a part of it. Um, in, uh, in about a month, the plan is we're going to light up the courthouse in white, blue, and green, the colors of Expo. So be sure to, to, to drive by in the evening and check that out. And, um, and then at the end of this month, we plan on passing a proclamation honoring the start of the 50th celebration. So thank you all for being here. Thank you to the amazing team that is going to make this a huge success and something that our community will be proud of. Thank you. Well, thank you, Commissioner Kearns. And the city and county represent a huge contribution to the Expo 50th uh, celebrations, but that could not happen without the contributions of our local organizations that we have here today. Our signature sponsors, our founding par par uh, partners, our event pillar, and additional sponsors have all contributed greatly, not only financially, but also in kind as well, of helping uh, plan these events. Uh, you'll see a on this board over to my right, you'll see a list of all our sponsors on this and just a special thanks to all of them that have been a part of this, but also to our signature sponsors, Garco Construction, Washington Trust Bank, Spokane County, and then of course the city of Spokane. Every time we make the call to ask if they want to help and be a part of something, they step up and we just want to thank them. So can we all give them a round of applause? <laughs> So now I'd like to welcome Matt Santangelo, our program manager of Expo 50th Celebration, to share some updates. Um, Matt, after his great career in HoopFest, uh, we did a search, and he was a great candidate to help us lead this effort, and has been along for the ride, and I appreciate his patience and his leadership that he's brought to us on this celebration of dealing with all of us, but thank you, but thank you, Matt. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. He almost said that with a straight face. Can you believe that? Um, I want to, as everyone else said, it has been a tremendous honor to represent uh, the community in this effort. Uh, for all of you to know, the, the breadth and depth of our outreach into the community has been really immense. Uh, the enthusiasm for Expo 74, uh, for the 50th anniversary that we're about to celebrate, um, has been tremendous. When you ask for help, people say yes. Uh, as Garrett said, you talk to the sponsors, it wasn't a... Uh, three or four or five uh, phone call, you know, twisting of the arms. It was like, yes, how do we help? How can we help? And in addition to the financial resource that all of your organizations have given, it's really the people that make this thing go. It's the, the effort behind the scenes that uh, the teams have done, really rolled up their sleeves and done the hard work to coordinate what has become a pretty massive celebration. The goal was a nine-week calendar of events. We currently have about 90 events on the calendar. And that doesn't include our community stage effort, which supports another 30 organizations. I mean, we're talking about hundreds of organizations and thousands of people just on the behind the scenes making it happen. That is a great example of a community coming together across lines in order to do something really special. And we're less than a month away. So back to now to my script. <sighs> All right. So opening ceremonies, uh, May 4th, which sig is significant because May 4th, it was the opening ceremonies of the World's Fair. Right here behind us, Riverfront Park, from three to nine, there'll be a, a pillar uh, procession showcasing those five pillars that the mayor laid out earlier, arts and culture, environmental stewardship, tribal culture, expo legacy, sports and recreation, poetry readings, uh, including Spokane's poet laureate, Mary Smith, uh, Spokesman Review is also doing a poetry contest winner, uh, musical and theater performances, including Spokane Youth Symphony String Quartet, Regional Choir of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, which was a huge performance. I think they performed every day during the fair in 74. Uh, and the Spokane Children's Theater. 
cultural sharing, including the Spokane Chinese Associ Association Dance Troupe, uh, the Indian Youth Club of Spokane and Native Voices, sports activations, teaser, you'll hear about that one soon, uh, dignitary remarks, legacy reflections, this is important for some, beer garden food trucks, that might be the thing that really gets you here, um, activities commemorating the, the 50th anniversary, and I'm pretty hyped about this one, uh, a tribute band of Earth, Wind, and Fire performing as well. It'll be sweet. Um, in addition to the corporate sponsors and partners, uh, there's been a huge philanthropic effort to help fund this as well. That's been done through our Club 74 effort. Um, it was a community outreach effort to just get members of our community to participate around the nostalgia. Um, it was a, we were asking for a $74 donation. Um, if we reach 1,974 members, see what we're doing there with the numbers, um, we actually have an anonymous match of a family here in the region that was really, really uh, significant for the World's Fair. That's about $146,000 match. So we're currently right at about 600 members of Club 74. So already it's been a huge success. Um, we will be, uh, each one will get a commemorative coin, a, a season pass, if you will, kind of a, in spirit season pass. Um, but really a, a, other ways for the community to get involved is through the Club 74 effort. Uh, special thank you. Garrett did a fantastic job recognizing the, the signature sponsors. We have representatives here. Appreciate Washington Trust and Garco. Certainly KHQ from behind the camera as well, along with the city and the county. Uh, thank you very much for your support, as well as the founding partners that not only put up money, but again, dedicated their, their teams to this effort, the people behind the scenes that are doing a lot of work to make this happen. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, always need volunteers. Back to my hoop fest days. Not court monitors this time. It's a lot easier. Um, but an opportunity for your organizations to get involved in various ways. Volunteerism would be one of them. Um, you can follow along on our website, expo50spokane.com, uh, through social media uh, along the same handle, um, and sign up for our e-newsletter. It's a free newsletter. kind of gives you all the news and, and happenings of what's going on. I'm almost done, I promise. Actually, I think I am. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you for allowing me to play this role. Um, it is exciting that it's finally coming up. Um, and with that, uh, I'll hand it back to Garrett. All right. Well, thank you, Matt. And lastly, I'd like to introduce Otto Klein, the Vice uh, President of Spokane Indians Baseball. Uh, here's another partnership, too, that we don't have to beg. They come to us and say, how can we be a part of the vision? How can we be a part of community? And so I want to introduce Otto and thank you for your partnerships as well with the city of Spokane and our community. Hi, everyone. Thank you uh, very much. Uh, it's nice to see everyone here. On, on, uh, it's a proud day for the Spokane Indians. Um, thank you for letting us be a part of it. I want to uh, special recognition to uh, Lisa Simpson and everyone who visits Spokane, uh, Spokane County, City of Spokane, uh, and everyone. It's just uh, been really a fun event for us to be a part of. Um, you know it's meant to be when certain things happen. And we had a sign that this was meant to be this year. Um, this past fall at the ballpark, um, in walks this older gentleman. And he comes in, and it's in the fall, and, and he walks through the front door, and we said, you know, how can we help you? And he said, oh, I'm Rick. And we said, well, hi, Rick, how are you? He said, well, I wanted to come to uh, see the stadium. He said, well, actually, the games are over. We're done for the season. He said, well, I actually wanted to come here because I wanted to see the stadium again. I said, okay, well, that's interesting. Where are you from? He said, well, I'm from Texas. And he said... And he said, well, what do you mean again? He goes, I played for the Spokane Indians in 1974. So Rick, uh, hopefully we'll be coming back this summer, but it's a neat sign when he could do that. So let's go back to 1974 just for a minute with the baseball standpoint. We did a little research. In 1974, the Spokane Indians... Uh, were AAA affiliate of the Texas Rangers. So we were one step below the uh, major leagues. And we played in what is now called the Pacific Coast League. That year, we were 78 and 64, winning record, pretty good. As it turned out, we were first place that year and won the division. And not only did we win the division, we also went on to sweep Albuquerque in the Pacific Coast League championship. And that was our second back-to-back -back championships 
for the Spokane Indians uh, that time ago. So we're hoping that that's a good sign of what might be coming uh, this summer. Um, now, if you think about um, all the players that were on that team, that was a really good baseball team. 24 of them went on to play in the major leagues. 24 players out of that team. Um, Indians pitcher Don Stanhouse went on to play for the Baltimore Orioles and was a really, really good pitcher. He'd start the game, pitch the whole game, uh, and did a great job. He often pitched late into the game. And appropriately, he was given the nickname Full Pack because his manager said he could smoke a full pack of cigarettes uh, every time he pitched. Now, we probably can't use that reference today, but again, that was 1974. Um, so I want to show you one thing while we're really impressed with that year and the history and the significance of everything that happened one thing that we really were not that proud of from that year doing our research take a look at this these are our uniforms from 1974 okay i don't know if they were red or burnt orange or whatever it might have been um but when we were starting to think about how could we get involved this year, would we want to do a throwback uniform to 1974 that quickly was thrown in the trash? So we decided to come up with a special custom um, uniform. And um, to help us debut what these uniforms look like for this summer that the Spokane Indians will wear a few times, I want to bring out uh, the one and only we have our model here, that, uh, and of course, Otto the mascot. So uh, these will be the uniforms. Otto's pretty proud of what these look like, uh, but with our Expo 74. Um, and if you notice um, a couple different things to, uh, to, to pick out, the colors match the sustainability theme of 1974. The blue, of course, is a reference to the purity of clean water with the Spokane River. Uh, the green was in reference to the unspoiled beauty of plants and trees in our area. And the white in reference to the cleanliness of fresh air that we all enjoy in our region. The font is the original font um, from the Expo 74 logo. And all also featured on the uniform and hat is the iconic three-dimensional um, circular logo, of course, with a baseball touch. Um, which was used in 1974 and symbolizes the continuity of life and our relationship to the environment. So um, we put a lot of thought into these uniforms and um, these will be worn uh, throughout the summer. So uh, these jerseys, of course, are now on sale and the ones that the <laughs> players are wearing, uh, the ones that the players will be wearing this summer will be auctioned off with a portion of the proceeds going to plant more lilac trees in our community uh, this fall. So how about a hand for our models here? They did a great job. Uh, it all starts at a Vista Stadium. Also, uh, while there is an event here for the opening kickoff, we'll also have a game on May 4th uh, where these uniforms will um, be debuted. And we will be wearing them four times between the time period of May 4th and July 5th. Um, so once again, uh, thank you to everyone. I want to bring up, if I could, I'd like to bring up, um, well, Garrett and Matt are here, Mayor and, and uh, Betsy, I'd love to have you come if you could. And Josh, we have a um, special item for you as well. Uh, we have... We have Expo jerseys for all of you, which we would like to uh, present and for each of you to put on if you could, and we'll, we'll take a ceremonial photo. Okay? Yeah. yeah, you bet. Or you're also, also welcome just to put them, you can either put them on or just hold them up, okay? You want to put them on. Yes. Okay. Now, this does not allow you to be on the team this summer. Okay. You cannot play for us, but you're, you're a part of our team. Okay. You're a part of our team. I need a bat. Yeah. I need a bat. <laughs> I need a bat. And the gloves. Does that fit? Okay, how about one more time, a hand for all of our folks here with Expo 74.
probably love to be a part of this photo. So let's look at all of you together. Auto, auto's back. Auto's with us. Front of the banner. Oh, yeah, right over here. Like our first photo op. You're in front there. My name is Rose Noble, CEO of Visit Spokane. I have the pleasure of just saying goodbye to everybody, which is the best part of the gig. So uh, we're, we're honored to be co-chair of this event, along with the Parks Department, who's doing an exceptional job. Uh, thank you to our signature sponsors, and thank you to everybody who's been here today, as well as our founding partners. When I found out that the Indians were doing a jersey, I asked our team, do I get one? So I do, and I'm so excited to wear this to the games. Um, for more information, you can visit uh, expo50spokane.com and then, of course, spokaneindians.com for all of the details. Thank you so much for coming.